Welcome back, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Corvid Ed's Garage. Um, we ran into a dilemma with the uh, supercharger project. Uh, it was unforeseen, uh, and it was in my best interest to take care of that dilemma before I go any further uh, with the supercharger project. Um, so I kind of took a left turn on everyone um, and as the video states sab sabotage by the smog police well you know it, 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 it took me like three days to get this car ready and uh, I was pretty impressed with myself because uh, what I've been dealing with is my back issues which is, has really slowed me down but uh, in the sake of getting the dilemma taken care of and getting back on the project, uh, I, I just, in three days, I had this car up and running, uh, which is a good sign that um, I'm uh, getting over a hump uh, in my uh, life with this back surgery. So I'm pretty content with that. So uh, as we, well, let, let, let me get into it. Uh, right after this. It's on the ground, dummy. What? It's on the ground. Who the hell are you? You just don't pay it no mind. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. And I stopped the Procharger project for you. What do you mean you stopped the, the Procharger series? Because you got a letter in the mail for DMV Smog. Smog? Yes, Smog. We could have done that after the Procharger. No, do it now. Take it down there. Get it spawned. You have two years to dial with the supercharger after that. Dummy. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Welcome back to another episode of Corvette's Garage, the Smog Series. Supercharger Series, dummy. I don't know who this guy is. You don't need to. I had enough out of you. Anyway, um, apparently we uh, dropped the car and pulled some of the uh, procharger equipment off so we can uh, go ahead and take it down to the smog station because I got the DMV smog notice. So rather than uh, mm -hmm. rather than um, try to get smog with the supercharger on we decided to go ahead and get her smog now and then we'll have two years to work with the supercharger to dial it in and whatnot so it, it made a lot of sense uh going that route uh unfortunately uh i took it down to the smog station and it failed so brought it back pulled plugs out with all the plugs running heavily oh my god so I started doing my checks and I found that uh, the tube that coming out of the fuel pressure regulator that came off. Well, there you go there. There's my problem. So now I'm going to pull the pelm off and uh, get everything dialed back in and, and uh, I'm going to use some epoxy. Uh, I did get a, another fuel pressure regulator cover, but it's anodized red. So I don't 
I never had a problem with this fuel pressure regulator cover. Nobody ever questioned it, and I don't want them to question it now. So I'm holding off on putting that on and fixing the one that's on there because uh, it, it's not so, I mean, it's anodized blue, but it's a light blue. So it really doesn't look aftermarket um, versus the anodized red one that does look aftermarket, but then I'll install that one when I get the supercharger in. So uh, hopefully uh, that'll blend in with everything else and they'll overlook it at that time uh, when I go get a swap. But Okay, and it's pretty simple to pull the pelham off. Uh, you've seen me do it, I believe. But anyway, I did run into a couple of issues which slowed me down. Uh, let me stop the film right here, and uh, I'll show you what those issues were. And as you see, uh, the plug came apart on me. It's the air temperature sensor underneath the pelham. Uh, and I just ordered a new harness. I didn't have the plugs to make one, so ordering the new harness uh, didn't take that long to get, but it did slow me down. As far as the uh, fuel pressure regulator, uh, I epoxied the tube, uh, so the uh, hose fits on there nice and snug now. No issues. Uh, you see the nuts on the uh, top of the cover there. That makes it an adjustable fuel pressure regulator. I think I've showed you how to put the panel on, uh, but the gaskets are pretty cool because there's a couple plugs there that uh, you push the gasket into, and it actually holds into place most of the time. Go figure. Uh, now the Pelham, oh, that's another story. Here, uh, I laid a towel on so I can get the uh, harness on to the air temperature sensor, uh, and then I'm going to try to work it in. Uh, but I mean, you have to get it on right. You, you got to line it up. The hole's got to really line up. Uh, this one gave me it, it fought, and after a while, you know, after doing this, uh, um, uh, the the holes, uh, I end up going back over the holes uh, that I fought the most with with a tap. A uh, tap is a millimeter, eighteen by twenty five. Uh, and, it usually, and it works for me. It comes out good. Let's stop for the film for a second here and go to the candy shop. i got a couple of things to show you. Welcome back to the candy shop. Um, like I said, I did get a fuel pressure regulator. This, one, this one's from uh, our cover. This one's from South Bay Fuel Injectors from back east. Um, ah, Keychain, that's pretty cool. Uh, this piece here... Uh, that goes inside the cover. I uh, actually uh, is used to press the uh, fuel pressure diaphragm down. Uh, there's your card, and it's pretty simple. This one I, I got this one because it came with a diaphragm. So that's your diaphragm, fuel pressure regulator diaphragm. Um, that goes into the housing, and then uh, this here. Uh, goes into the top of the housing and then you fasten it down with one, two, three, six, uh, six screws. And they're, uh, and thinking about these screws, they're, they're the type of, they're kind of like the security screws, you know, where they have a point right in the middle. Uh, so um, that's how that works there. And uh, as you can see, that right there, uh, that is. Uh, uh, a nice piece there. Uh, really happy. But I'm not going to put this on until I actually uh, put on the um, supercharger because uh, I might be able to get away if there's any question. And what makes this illegal in California is the nut right there. Uh, it's adjustable. You're able to adjustable your, adjust, adjust your fuel pressure. Illegal in California? I don't know. Uh, I know some of them are and some of them aren't, so, um, you know, I, I just don't want to take the chance when it comes to smog. Uh, if they don't see it, they, it's, no, it's not an issue. But anyway, that's the fuel pressure regulator. Uh, very nice piece. I'm, uh, anodized red is going to look really good in there with the uh, fuel management system, which is also anodized red. So, a bonus. So this here is a suspension product, ADCO. Um, a lot of you guys probably know who, or at, who ADCO is. Um, and they've been around for a little bit. Uh, so I have all the components in here. Uh, anyway, I already got polyurethane bushings on the end of the uh, uh, sway bar. So this here 
is going to go to the rear. Uh, and this is another reason why I kind of stopped the project because I want to get this on and get a four-way alignment. This looks like it's heavy. Damn it. Anyway. Uh, uh, well basically, well, don't break the windshield or the mirror or window. And there you go. Okay. Oh boy. Pain in the ass. Get this plastic piece off. Jesus Christ, man. Oh, I was going hit my bike. Anyway, there is the piece that's going to go and replace the, uh, the stock one back there. I never did get a chance to actually replace that stock one. The front one is already replaced with an ADCO, which is an inch and a half. And this is our inch, inch and a half or inch and a quarter. And this one is one inch. Okay, so um, this car handles like it's on rails to be already with all the suspension modifications that I've done to it. And uh, this is just an added bonus. Okay, um, so that's going to go into the back, uh, into the rear, and swap out the stock one. Uh, then I can go ahead and get it down to the uh, alignment uh, station and get the car four-way aligned. Now, uh, I'm not going with a stock setting. I'm going with a street setting, which um, you can find that information on the forums for the uh, C4 Corvettes. Um, I don't put a lot of miles on the car, so I'm not really worried about the tires. The tires will be old by the time I, uh, uh, they get worn down. So... Um, uh, I do drive the car, but not a lot like I like I used to. So anyway, there it is. There, that's going into the rear, and this is what's gonna I'm gonna be going th uh, be showing next the installation of this sway bar. Really simple, but there's a couple of things that you got to move out that, that's interfering with it. So uh, which means also that once that's done, I'm gonna have to readjust the suspension height. Okay, so I might go down a little bit lower in the rear. I'm not sure. I mean, the car is pretty low as it is right now. Uh, a little bit more in the rear won't really hurt it that much. Uh, uh, or I'm, it all depends. I, you know, I'll take the measurements and uh, go from there. Uh, let's get on with the um, fuel pressure regulator now. Well, there you have it, everyone. She's all been put back together. Um, that epoxy held pretty good. Uh, well, for now, I mean, all I'm worried about uh, is getting, that, getting this thing down to the spot station and get it passed. So, as long as it holds uh, for that, I'm fine. If it holds for uh, even more than that, that's fine too. That's fine too. I have a new one. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, but anyway, uh, I fired her up. She's smelling good. I can smell the cat now. Uh, I pulled the plug out. She doesn't seem to be running uh, lean like she was so um, I think she's ready to be, be taken down to uh, a spot station of course I want to do some test runs first make sure that uh, everything's um, uh, copacetic and uh, if she's running good uh, just to make sure I don't have to readjust the uh, fuel pressure regulator but that's all been done I'm pretty sure that it's right on the money um, uh, I'm pretty confident in that right now so by the way, she uh, sounds, I, uh, you know, and the, 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 how healthy she feels, all good, all good. But anyway, um, next step is to take it out for a couple touch runs, uh, open her up a little bit, and, uh, and make sure everything's uh, done correctly. Um, uh, other than that, um, we're going to uh, take it down to the smog station, and uh, hopefully we'll pass that too. So, I'm confident that we will this time. If you're new, please subscribe. Um, don't forget to like the video. Uh, hope you learned something. And um, if you have any comments, please, please feel free to comment. You know, if not, no, no worries. All good anyway. Uh, this is a fun channel for me. And uh, working on the car, the motorcycle, uh, it's fun. So, um, I'm, I'm glad that I'm able to share it through YouTube. Anyway. Until then, until the next episode, uh, we'll see you uh, on the next episode of Corbin Ed's Garage.